Alright, here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to work on a little overhead uh, valve engine here, but uh, only on the bolts. When, when uh, I left this over Mike's house to do a little machining on it, his garage, uh, he's got a lot of metal in there and it, it condensates. And what happened is all these bolts that weren't, weren't plated, you know, over the years, you know, or maybe maybe when I cleaned them, you know, maybe I took the zinc coating off, but whatever. Uh, they they rusted up. Let's see, if I'm focusing on it. Oh well, take my word for it. All right, so you had the four bolts here, then you got the bolts here holding it down, and you see the the rust on there. See, it's a special bolt too. You, you're not going to go buy one already done. And uh, also this bolt here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to zinc plate them and eventually we want to, not zinc, uh, nickel. We want to nickel plate them and eventually we want to nickel plate the head too so that won't rust and also this carburetor here we want to nickel plate that you know not the not the copper pieces or the brass pieces but uh, the pop metal. So uh, I'm going to do these uh, to practice up so we, uh, we sort of know, know what we're doing when we come down to that. And uh, we already have my uh, nickel acetate solution made up. We showed you how to do that in a, another video. And uh, our little power supply. You don't really need a big power supply like this. I mean, I had it on the shelf and, you know, why not use it, right? But you could actually do this with a, a 6 volt battery or a little. 9 volt transistor battery or something like that. You really don't need much. So, uh, let me get some wire and we'll hook this up. And, uh, oh, you know what? I already did one, you know, just to try it out. Here it is here. And it came out nice. You know, it almost looks like he's just polished on the machine over there, but uh, that's where it is. And the reason, the reason I don't just go replace these with stainless steel is because, uh, I don't know if you can see the name on here, but... Uh, Rockford or something like that. That's who who made their bolts for uh, Briggs. So they're, they're actually going to be original bolts. And like I said, I did the one, and I got to do the, the three others and the and the washers. So let me uh, hook us up over there, and uh, we'll show you what we're doing. All right. Yeah, I decided I'm going to go with this big bolt first, uh, so uh, it's easy to see, easy to clean and stuff. All I'm going to do is. Uh, get the rust off with the wire wheel and then uh, some people uh, put it in your attic acid and stuff to etch it but uh, these are just bolts you know the carburetor we might might etch but I'm just going to clean these up with acetate or acetone and then put them in there so let's do that what it's going to look like when we get done but uh, right now it's it don't have any coating on there and it'll rust up again so let's uh, take it over to the solution all right I got the bolt here and uh, some acetone like I say some people let you with muriatic acid or other stuff but I'm just going to clean it I'm not getting crazy they're just bolts And uh, just gonna clean it real good. See, and you are cleaning stuff off of there. You see how dirty it is? You are getting stuff off of there. Alright, I've got a little piece of wire tied to this, and I'm only gonna stick the, the head in. Ah! Don't leave me no comments. a little further than just the head but 
And over here I already have my nickel anode hooked up. The anode gets hooked up to the positive, and whatever part you're plating gets hooked up to the negative. Now we're all plugged in and everything, so all I have to do is turn it on. I have it set at 5, five volts, and I don't know how many amps it is, but it's very low. Probably half a, an amp or maybe one amp or something, but uh, not much at all. So, here we go, turn it on. And it's already starting to work. It's already starting to percolate, so let me take you off. Hold on, hold on. You're going to get shaken up a little bit here. But I'm going to take you off the tripod and we're going to get a better look. Hold on. Let me get down here. Let me get down here. Sorry for the shaking. Alright. Yeah, you can see the bolt. I actually have that uh, dipped in too far. I just wanted to do the, the very tip of the head, but uh, that's okay. No worries. Alright. Now, you should only have to leave it in there maybe a minute or two, but I'm going to leave it in for 10 minutes. And let's see what we got here. It's uh, 306. So uh, we'll come back in uh, 5. No, we'll come back in 10 minutes. Let's come back at uh, 315, 316. All right. Can't always trust these analog meters. Uh, that one says almost 5. So uh, I got this set on the uh, DC volts, and let's see what it says. All right, yeah, pretty. It's, analog meter is pretty close. That's uh, about 4.8. So let's let's call it five volts. Five volts is good. Let's uh, turn it here to amps, and see how many amps we got going in there. Because you get, like I say, you can't even read it on the on the. The analog meter here. Oh, almost, almost hooked it up wrong. Sorry about that. And we got a half, a half of, uh, a half an amp. And it keeps varying, four or five, point four, point five, point six. Okay, yeah, let's call it a half an amp. So you really don't need much. You don't need much amperage at all. All right, it's been ten minutes. So let's uh, let's take it out and see what it looks like. First off, let's look in there. Still fizzing away in there. Go. Still fizzing away. All right, let's turn it off and uh, unhook it here. Okay, don't look much different, but uh, like I say, this is uh, to protect it from rust. There we go. You know, maybe I'll throw a piece of copper in there so we can see exactly what the plating does. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna hit that on a buffer just for fun. All right, it's just a ratty old buffer wheel. Not special about it. That's all it takes. Got a little of that, uh, that white rouge in the, in the letters here. I'll work on getting that out later. But, uh, well, you guys can see that, but uh, it's a nice shiny finish. And it's, 
weatherproof. It's not going to rust. So that's what we want. All right, like I said, let me throw a piece of copper in here and uh, see what that looks like, just for fun. All right, I got a little small piece of copper here. I'm going to clean it up with the uh, steel wool here, and then uh, wipe it down with acetone, and then we'll throw it in there. I'll turn this back on when we do that. All right, I polish that and wiped it down with some acetone. Uh, I'll put a little clip on here. I'm going to stick it in. I'm going to stick this up here so I don't get in the way. Alright. Hook this clip up to it. Alright, turn it on. And uh, come back in 10 minutes. See what it looks like. Huh. Let me take you off of there first. Let me show you what's going on here. Hold on. you can see that but it's it's turning already you know it, it hasn't been 30 seconds and it's already getting a little coating on it all right let's leave that for 10 minutes and maybe I'll, I'll stop at the uh, two or five or something and uh, see what it looks like all right it's been five minutes so let's uh, look at it and see what it looks like wow you can already see the difference here, you see the line? So that'll, that'll probably be fine, five minutes will probably be fine. I'm going to leave it in for another five minutes just for fun. I didn't rotate this or anything either, you know what I mean? If you're going to do this and you have something that you really uh, want done nicely or something like that, I'm having trouble <laughs> getting it so straight. There you go, that's good enough. Yeah, I would uh, maybe put two nickel anodes on both sides of that and, and center this piece in the middle, but uh, like I say, we're just playing. We're just uh, experimenting here. So, all right, another five minutes, we'll get back to you. All right, that's been ten minutes. So uh, let's turn it off here. All right, disconnect this. Oh wow, that looks nice. All right, let me bring it over to the table here. I'm gonna dry that off and buff it up and see what it looks like. I'm going to put you guys on a tripod, alright? Hold on. Alright. I just decided it was facing the anode, and that's that's completely uh, completely covered. The back side is covered too, but like I say, if you're going to do this, you know, uh, maybe have an anode on both sides or, or rotate, whatever you're doing. But, uh, so I'm going to just polish up this one side and see what it looks like. My glasses on so I can see what you guys see. Yeah, somebody didn't know the difference. I mean, they would they would think that was chrome, but it's nickel. You know, nickel has a not so much of a sheen to it. You know, not so much of a shine, and it's a little duller, but uh, still, you know, it's uh, pretty stuff. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, if you learned something, uh, subscribe, and if not, uh, subscribe anyway. All right. Enough of that, okay? All right. See you guys later.